My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord and with all, with all thine heart, and lead not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to the navel and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof uh, than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are the ways of pleasantness, and her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, and by by understanding hath he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they, so shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in the way safely and thou sh and thy foot shall not stumble when thou liest down thou shalt not be afraid yea thou shalt lie down and thy sleep shall be sweet be not afraid of sudden fear neither of desolation of the wicked when it cometh for the lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken withhold not good from them to whom it is due when it is in when it is in the power of thine hand to do it Say not unto thy neighbor, Go and come again, and tomorrow I will give, when thou hast it by thee. Devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwelleth securely by thee. Strive not with a man without a cause. If he have done thee no harm, envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. The, fro the, forward, the froward is an abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace to the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. In the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord's throne is in heaven, his eyes behold his eyelids. Try the children of men. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked, and him that loveth violence his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness, his countenance doth behold the upright. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceaseth, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. They seek they speak vanity every one with his neighbor. With flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. The Lord shall cut off all the flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Who have said with our tongue, we will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now will I arise, saith the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted.
How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord, forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall mine enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord, my God. Lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest mine enemy say, I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. I have, but I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, because he hath dealt bountifully with me. The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looketh down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and see God. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity, iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread, and call not upon the Lord? There, there were they in great fear, for God is in the generation of the righteous. Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor, because the Lord is his refuge. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion. When the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel Israel shall be glad. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly, and worketh righteousness, and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a report reproach against his neighbor in whose eyes a vile person is condemned. But he honoreth them that fear the Lord, and he answereth to his own heart, and changeth not. He that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent, he that doeth these things shall never be moved. <clears throat> 